Hey, what's up? Mr. Parker here to do an update. First off, I'm going to show you uh, what the Bloody Bill sent me, the director of Dollboy. Uh, a new movie he has coming out called Mr. Fister. This is an awesome t-shirt. Looks completely badass. The killer kills people with their fist. Use your imagination right there. He also sent this cool coloring book from Dollboy. And even a box of crayons that I have sitting somewhere. But uh, basically, I'm going to hop in and start with the Blu-rays. First, uh, we have Innkeepers, which uh, Ty West did. He did House of the Devil and uh, The Roost. I've seen House of the Devil. It's a pretty damn good movie. Innkeepers, I hear, is a pretty good movie as well. Then we have Snowtown. This is an import. This is supposed to be one of the best serial killer movies ever made. It looks really interesting based on true story. Then we have Universal Soldier. Really cheap buy, but man, I haven't seen this movie in years. I always liked it as a kid. Then we have the import of Repo Man with Emilio Estevez by Alex Cox. I haven't watched this movie since I was 12 years old. And I remember Aliens. I remember being really weird. Then we have uh, the Demons 1 and 2 Steelbook from Arrow. Yeah. That is Steel right there. Limited. I believe it's limited. I'm not sure. But it, it's pretty badass, actually. I love Demons 1. It's one of my favorite movies. And Demons 2 is pretty solid as well. And then we have The Divide. Uh, Michael Bean is in this movie. Michael Ben or Bean. People are trapped under the ground, and uh, it's kind of like an end of world type deal, and they're arguing, and basically they become their own worst enemies. That's from my understanding. Looks pretty good. Uh, Mother's Day, the remake, Blu-ray, and last but certainly not late, released, the Errol release of the Beyond. I actually have this in my Blu-ray player right now. There's two discs, over 160 minutes of special features. Yeah comes with four reversible covers. You guys get the point. They're region free too, so go ahead and order it if you guys are interested. But yeah, it's an amazing, amazing release. The two disc in there looks good too. Yeah, and it comes with a booklet, all these reversible covers in there, poster. Yeah, uh, America needs to start learning a little bit from Arrow because Arrow is, the, is one of the best companies ever, probably. And they're all amazing. Now time to hop into the DVDs. What do I got? Here's that box of crayons if somebody's interested to look at. Uh, we have uh, Mortuary, which is a Katrina feature. It's the last one I needed. This is uh, famous for having Bill Paxton in it. I never got to watch it. I probably have a crumb bum VHS somewhere around here. Then we have, uh, no one needs to show that, uh, Fever Night, which uh, caught my interest. It was really cheap at Walmart. I don't know, it's supposed to be a uh, yeah, mind-altering experience. I like those kind of trippy, crazy, wild horror movies. The crazier, the better for me. Then we have uh, Picnic at Hanging Rock. I would have got the, uh, the Blu-ray import or the United States DVD, but this one actually includes the director's cut and the original version and uh, third disc of bonuses. I've never seen this film, but I heard that the director's cut is uh, not as popular as the original cut, and this is the only way to see it, or you can see it on the Criterion US release, but this comes to the director's cut as well. It's three discs. It's around the same price, so I grabbed that. Picked it at Hanging Rock. It's supposed to be a classic film. Then we have Paper House, which is a UK import as well. You know, I've seen parts of this a long time ago. Kind of a weird story type deal. Sick, sick kid. Hallucinating, weird. The Amsterdam, which is also an import from the UK. Totally uncut, first time UK DVD release. This does not have a US release, so it's supposed to be a really wild thriller slasher type deal, really different. And then we have uh, The Shout, which uh, really caught my interest. Uh, didn't the guy who did, uh, what movie was that? Uh, Deep End did this movie, which I, I thought was really good. Enough that I wanted to check this one out, The Shout. Uh, then we have uh, And Soon the Darkness, which I've never got to see. I believe this was remade. Import. Then we have uh, Road Games. The United States DVD went out of print and I didn't get it. It was in Anchor Bay. I think it goes for quite a bit. The UK import. Very cheap. Very uh, easy to get. Then we have Hellacious Acres, which is a bloody disgusting. Looks very interesting. I'm not sure. I've not watched it. What else do we got here? I'm gonna... Plots of... Uh, this one I will not be showing. Uh, might as well. Uh, Plot to Fear. There will be a review for this one very shortly. Uh, maybe a, a, a couple weeks. I have not watched it. It's a rare DVD. Then we have... Uh, Hostel Part 3, got it used. I, I like Hostel 1, didn't care too much for Hostel 2, I thought it was okay. Hostel 3 is by Scott Spiegel, I like that guy a lot. He's in Skid Alive, he's also a director. We got a German import here of Blood Beach, actually official release, very cool. Uh, yeah, Blood Beach, German import. I've never watched this movie, but I always wanted to, so I have the VHS. Yeah, John Saxon's in it, looks really cool, I love the cover art of that. Then we have uh, Transgression, which is a 1-7 film, got a good deal on this from a man DVD fiend. Then what else do we have here? All oh, these are rubber band because they were dirt cheap. Nonsense. Virus X, $1.50. Why not? I'm a sucker for zombie movies. $1.50 zombie movie. How could I say no? The Believers was a buck. One of the last raw feeds I needed. Uh, Airheads was $2. I haven't seen this movie in years. I just wanted to watch Chris Farley rip that dude's nipple rings out, to be honest. The Seensters, this place is so dead. 
Yeah, I don't know. I bought this. It's a horror movie where seamsters get killed. Sounds funny. What else do we have here? Zombie Apocalypse, Redemption. Yeah, again, I must have been desperate to buy. I haven't even seen the first one. I think just the first one. Then we have Rabies, which I heard uh, pretty good things about this. Is, is this the one where it's like an Israeli horror movie or something like that? The first Israeli slasher? I don't know. But I have seen uh, Helix Ground, which was the first Pakistani horror film. That was a good movie. Uh, Fears of the Dark, which is like an animated horror movie from IFC. Then we have uh, One Ton Baby. You guys saw my review for this. I was not a big fan of this film. I thought that it was like two different films in one. One's like a drama. One's like a corny ball. Black Devil doll type deal. I wasn't a huge fan of the film at all. Then we have Bong of the Dead, which has... I don't really care for this cover, but this film actually has some pretty funny moments. The dubbing I did not care for, but I enjoyed that movie. Uh, Survivor, another Katrina horror thing. I think I actually have this uh, under a different title or a different release. I haven't got a chance to watch it. Of course, the two-disc edition of The Devils. Of course, it's not 100% on cut. I don't believe that there is ever a 100% official release of The Devils on cut. This is a great film. Oliver Reed's top-notch. Probably my personal favorite role of his. And I think this is one of the best films ever made. It's The Devils. Uh, without warning, a German import. You saw this in Extra the Mutilators video. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. But, uh, yeah, this is Jack Palance, Martin Lando. This is a precursor to Predator, from my understanding. Never watched it. German import. Then we have Psycho Cop, German import. This movie's really cheesy slasher movie. I actually enjoy the sequel a lot better. Unfortunately, the DVD is cut of the sequel. Then we have Steel Arena, a.k.a. Arena, which is, like, this cheesy movie I saw as a kid where, like, the uh, humans fight monsters in battle. I don't know. Looks really funny, though, doesn't it? Come on. I love that cover. It's like a fat shark man, like, he's all squaring up with him and shit. I don't know. Twelve, uh... Yeah, this is about a guy who's wrongly convicted, comes back and kills the jurors. This looks really interesting. I heard a lot of people talking about it. I haven't got a chance to watch it. Archie, Archie's Final Project. I don't remember what caught my attention on this, but yeah, looks pretty interesting. Then we have The Outcast, which is a uh, uh, bloody disgusting as well. And The Pack, which is another bloody disgusting. I think it's a French film. Heard good things about this one, The Pack. Uh, then we have uh, The Summer Massacre, or The Summer... Summer of Massacre, I heard this is the highest kill count of all time in a slasher. It says it right on there. Highest slasher kill count, which sounds awesome. Uh, Theater Bazaar, which I haven't got a chance to watch. Looks really interesting. Great directors, shorts, I love it all. This sounds like something I would actually really enjoy. And this, I don't know why I got this, but uh, Catch the Fires at Big Lots. Yeah, looks like a kung fu bitch knocking people out. Love that. These guys need to get knocked out sometimes. Then we have uh, Ass Studios. This is uh, four compilations, really underground. Four off shorts in a compilation type movie. Really weird shorts, really goofy, really funny. Uh, real wild, low budget. But uh, thank you very much. That's my update. Uh, I'll uh, upload it, and you guys can watch it. Or not. Have a good one.